All of this has eclipsed what was on the agenda for world leaders at the G20 summit in Turkey. France has promised a merciless response to the so-called Islamic State. It has escalated bombing runs over Syria and wants other countries to do the same. Canada's prime minister, though, says he is sticking to his plan to bring our fighter jets home. Jacques Bourbeau is at the G20 with the prime minister. Jacques? Donna, they didn't mince words. Wrapping up their two-day summit, G20 leaders called the Paris attacks an affront to humanity. But their message was more muted on how to respond. As they wrapped up their two-day summit, it was clear G20 leaders felt the burden of their horrific attacks in Paris. Uh, obviously, uh, the shadow of the events in Paris of a few days ago weighed heavily on us all. During the summit, leaders wrestled with how to deal with the ISIS threat. The host of the summit says there's a united front in this war. G20 countries, in fact, are now displaying a strong stance against terrorism. In their communique, G20 leaders promised to tighten border controls, share more intelligence, and crack down on terrorist financing. President Obama met with the leaders of other NATO countries, but he's not yet ready to ramp up the war against ISIS, saying it would be a mistake to send troops into Syria. So there will be an intensification of the strategy that we put forward, but the strategy that we are putting forward is the strategy that ultimately is going to work. Uh, but as I said from the start, it's going to take time. The one immediate response to the Paris attacks came when French fighter jets launched a major attack last night. Canadian CF-18s also targeting ISIS. But those Canadian sorties will be coming to an end. Despite the Paris attacks, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau is sticking with his plan to withdraw our CF-18s. But, he argues, Canada will still be a strong military partner. Canada is in no way uh, withdrawing from its uh, commitment uh, to be part of the coalition against ISIL. Instead, Trudeau wants to focus on training local fighting forces, pointing out Canada has a good track record of doing just that in Afghanistan. We have uh, made the commitment to step up our efforts of training local troops, uh, and that's uh, something that, uh, by all accounts, is an important part of the military efforts against ISIL. There is speculation that France may invoke Article 5 of the NATO Charter that says an attack on one member is an attack on the alliance. Justin Trudeau was asked if he supports this. He refused to answer. Donna? Jacques Bourbeau in Turkey tonight. Thanks, Jacques.